Hey guys, it's Deb. I want to show you um, from your paperpantry.ning.com the mixed media group. Um, for July, we did uh, mixed media tags and we had to spell out, well, we each got a letter in our group and we spelled out the word inspire. Mine was the letter N. So this is the I. Isn't that pretty? I love this one. She's very creative. This is by uh, Brandy Norris. And on the back we had to write something that um, had to do with being inspired. And she wrote, being happy doesn't mean that everything is perfect. It means that you've decided to look beyond the imperfections. So that was pretty. This is Mar this is uh, Nan Brandy's. Love it. Very, very pretty. What I'm going to do is, this one is mine. I have the end, which everybody saw I showed you when I posted that. What I'm going to do is, see how I put this wire on the top of mine? I'm going to put that on all of them and hang them so that I can look in the back to read what they say. I don't want to put it through the actual holes and like string it. I'm going to hang them, you know, like that. That way I can flip them. But, so this one was mine. That's the end. Then we have an S. Look how pretty and bright. This one is by Penny Mannix, and she wrote, Creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes, art is knowing which ones to keep, by Scott Adams. And it says, Believe and Bloom. Very pretty. And she put this little tag on here that says, Inspire. Very, very pretty. After a while doing these swaps with the same girls, you start, I'm starting to like recognize their artwork. Very, very pretty. And this one, look how cute and creative that is. That's uh, Margot's. And it says, I'm inspired by everything. As I always say, art surrounds us in colors, shapes, sounds, and even feelings. So when you take the time to stop and smell the roses, look around and see the art that surrounds you. Very, very pretty. And she put some like uh, paint on here underneath it actually underneath the plastic it looks like she put distress inks and then she put these little uh, beads that you put down with glue very pretty and this is um, the eye Isn't that pretty and this says if we're growing, we're always going to be out of our comfort zone. And this is by Dawn. You're right, Dawn. Very pretty. And this is R, and it says remember. I love the colors on this. You can see the colors of the pink and the purple. And it looks like she uh, stamped this with um, a water soluble ink so it like ran a little. It's very, very pretty. And then she put some mesh down. I haven't used that in a long time. And these little butterflies. And the back says, the greatest gift a father can give to his children is to love the mo their mother. Very, very pretty. And I don't know who made this. They didn't sign it. And this, I love this one. This is by uh, Kelly Stickles. It says, in art, the hand can never execute anything higher than the heart can inspire. Very, very nice. This is beautiful. She put down paper, and then it looks like she varnished it. Let me get on screen here. That would help, right? And uh, she put down this vintage girl, and she varnished that. And sh these uh, cut-out butterflies she embossed. Looks like she put it through a cuddle bug. And then her E that she probably made on her Cricut. And this tissue, this is um, the kind of uh, cray paper that you hang when you're having a party. But she put it in between these two layers of cardboard. Very clever. A nice technique. And then she made this little charm with the, the bird at the bottom. And that's it. They're pretty. So I'm going to put the wire around them and hang them up. So everybody wants to know what I've been up to. I haven't been putting videos up every week like I was. I'm involved in a lot. I'm trying to teach myself how to draw. I am working on something for somebody. I'm putting it together. So when that's done, I'll show it to you. Um, 
But uh, here's a, I started a journal. Here's a page in my journal that I'm working on. And um, this was cut out from Newsday. It's Long Island Newsday. This is a big sunflower. And then I have some butterflies here. I put some ink in the back and just distressed the back of the paper. And here I use my molding paste and I put a stencil of a butterfly down and I use the molding paste. This I still have to color. So this um, is reminded me of the Hamptons when my sister and I went out to the Hamptons uh, probably around two years before she passed away. We were out there and they have vineyards and wine tasting uh, places. So we were out there with my nieces and there was huge sunflowers like this. And that's why I wanted to um, put that in here. And then I've been practicing on how to make uh, faces and here's one of my faces. Although she's a little big for uh, the middle of the sunflower, I think I'm going to make another one. So that's what I've been up to. I've been drawing, trying to teach myself to draw, and uh, working in an art journal. So as I finish my pages, I'll show them to you and tell you what I did. And then if anybody wants to know exactly how I did something, you know, let me know. Leave a comment and I'll show you. So that's about it for now. So talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.